Question number one says that write the following numbers in the expanded form. So to write each of these numbers in the expanded form, let's first break them down into different numbers whose sum will give us back the same number. So we break it down as for the first one, 2 followed by 5 zeros as there are 5 places after 2, plus 7 followed by 4 zeros as there are 4 places after 7, plus 9 followed by 3 zeros, 4 followed by 2 zeros, plus 0 followed by 1 zero as there is only 1 place after the 0, plus 4 followed by no 0 because there is no number or digit after 4. Now each of these number can be written as in exponent form or in standard form that is the product of a number which lies between 1 and 10 and a power of 10. So we write it as 2 times 10 raised to 5 as there were 5 zeros after 2 plus 7 times 10 raised to 4 plus 9 times 10 raised to 3 plus 4 times 10 raised to 2 plus 0 times 10 raised to 1 and plus 4 times 10 raised to 0 because anything raised to 0 is 1. So this is how we expand a given number. Now we'll do the same thing for the second number that we have in the question. So let's break it down first. We'll write it as 3 followed by 6 zeros as there are 6 places after 3 plus 2 zeros. Then we have 6 followed by 3 zeros, 1 followed by 2 zero, 9 followed by 1 zero, and then finally 4. So this can be written as 3 times 10 raised to 6 plus 10 raised to 5 times 0 or 0 times 10 raised to 5 plus 0 times 10 raised to 4 plus 6 times 10 raised to 3 plus 10 raised to 2 or 1 times 10 raised to 2 plus 9 times 10 raised to 1 plus 4 times 10 raised to 0 is the expanded form for the given number. We we'll go on to the next set of bits. So now that we have understood the trick of how to write the expanded form, we'll directly go into each of these numbers and find out how many places are there after each digit. So 2 has 6 digits or 6 numbers after it. So there are 6 places. So we write it as 2 times 10 raised to 6 plus 8 because there are 5 places after 8. We write it as 8 times 10 raised to 5 plus 0 times 10 raised to 4 plus 6 times 10 raised to 3 plus 1 times 10 raised to 2 plus 9 times 10 raised to 1 and plus 6 times 10 raised to 0. So this is the expanded form for the third number that we had in the question. Coming to the fourth one, let's count how many digits do we have after 1? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it can be written as 1 times 10 raised to 5 plus 2 times 10 raised to 4 plus 0 times 10 raised to 3 plus 7 times 10 raised to 2 plus 1 times 10 raised to 1 and finally plus 9 times 10 raised to 0. We'll go on to the next set of bits now. So this is the final number that we have in the given question or the final bit. We have 2 first and that is followed by 4 digits or there are 4 places after 2. So we'll write it as 2 times 10 raised to 4 plus 0 times 10 raised to 3 plus 0 times 10 raised to 2 plus 6 times 10 raised to 1 plus 8 times 10 raised to 0. So this is how we can write any given number in the expanded form. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap. 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.